right, time for my oil change video. I'm gonna change my oil for you and I'll give you a little how-to. Uh, I got the truck going already. Uh, I'm gonna put it up on ramps and uh, change the oil. So I'll show you how it, uh, show you how to do it. change and I'm going to change the filter um, I'll change your filter One second here. I'll change your filter every time you do your oil there's your filter down there the blue thing and right there is uh, where you put the oil in. So, go under the vehicle for you. There's our pan. That's where the oil's gonna uh, empty into. Put it under your tank. Um, Alright, get yourself a socket wrench. Right on there. Got it hot. I've been running the vehicle. Running the vehicle before I did it. Ooh, that's hot. Oh. Now I got a four and a half quart. Four and a half quart tank to my oil. I got five quarts of oil going in. I, I, I use um, 5W30 for this vehicle. Whoa, that is hot. Okay, we are draining. And there's the pan. So, let this drain, I'll get back to you. All right, once that tank is empty, basically slap on that filter. See, we're kind of getting down to the nitty gritty. So we'll go underneath again, put that filter on. All right, under the truck. And, uh, it's the best way to get at this filter. All right. Need some gloves because it's still hot. Basically. Screw that filter there. Finally got the filter on. I started it from uh, underneath. So basically, just get it on there, nice and tight. I 
up right there. All right, filters on. Oil's out of the tank, filter goes on. Take your uh, cap off and reservoir. yourself a funnel. All right. Now it's just uh, get yourself the right kind of oil for your vehicle. Always found it in the owner's manual, of course. I mean, you can get yourself a Haynes manual or a Chilton. They also have good um, information but usually the manual it will tell you what kind of oil to put in and there's one quart yeah you gotta change oil about every three thousand four thousand somewhere in there I wouldn't go too much higher than five thousand you can go that long but um, you know best to do about three four thousand you can tell uh, if you check your oil and it's black or dark if it's black you definitely got to change it you can see the brand new oils nice and tan Checking that manual. It's a lot cheaper to do it on your own, by the way. Um, you can go to one of those, you know, service centers or whatever they're called. They'll charge you 25, 30 bucks. You can do it on your own for a lot cheaper. It's it's not too difficult a job. Yep, do it yourself. It's a good way to go. All right, there's um, four quarts. Not quite, actually four. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's four and a half quart um, oil tank. Get it as close as you can. The way you check is the dipstick. I'll show you that in a minute. If you don't, don't. Um, yeah, so there is the adding of oil. Put the cap back on. Try to not drip any. Yeah, so just find your dipstick. It's right there, right down there. It's all like that. And, um, wipe it clean. Take it out, wipe it clean, and then you stick it back in there. It's kind of hard to do with the camera in there. Try to show you. That. There's a little, uh, little gauge on there. You might want to. Uh, there's uh, empty and a full line on there. You might want to run your vehicle once or twice, but um, you can see your full. Basically, that's about all there is to it. Um, yep.
dipstick on, cap on, um, and close your hood, and uh, there you go. Oil change. I'm gonna check that dipstick. Don't let your oil get too low. Change it every three to four thousand miles. All right. Thanks, guys.